Hi boys and girls. Today uh, I'm going to have you pull out your food, glorious food and nutrition book that we started actually at school and I didn't get to do obviously so many of the things that I wanted to do with you. Sent it home. Um, there's a lot of coloring and thinking about different foods but I'd like to draw your attention to two pages and just have a little chat about that with you right now. Um, some of you may have already completed this book. Hopefully you're only doing a few pages a day. You definitely don't have to be doing all of them um, right away. It's supposed to last a little while. But uh, I want you to open up to this page. Looks like this. So this page specifically talks about whether foods uh, come from animals or from plants. And so I wanted to take a couple minutes and really look at this page and the food that's pictured on there. And maybe I will tell you what I believe the pictures are. So picture right here is corn, yellow and green. And right away, what do we think? Is that a plant or does that kind of food come from an animal? It's definitely a plant and it grows in the ground. So that's lettuce right beside it right here. Also uh, a vegetable, so uh, comes from plants. Over here though, that's actually a piece of meat here. And below it are eggs and both of these things, I think that might be steak. So that comes from a cow and eggs here. They come from chickens, I think you guys all know that. So these would be colored in a different color. So on our sheet, we're gonna circle animal foods, things that come from animals, not just get eaten by animals, but come from animals. And we're gonna circle in green uh, foods here that come from plants. That's watermelon, and that I believe is, well, I think it's like a little piece of hamburger. So I'm gonna go with that one as a meat, and meat comes from animals. This one here, let's get everyone to think, that's cheese. So does cheese grow like a plant? No, it does not. It comes from milk, different milk from different animals, and so it's an animal product. It's made from animals. Same with this, that's ham, and that's milk there. So ham comes from pigs, that's meat that we eat from pigs, and milk comes from cows as well. So obviously both of those are from animals. This is chicken down here, also another animal, and the rest of them all come from plants. So that's carrot, bread, peas, celery, orange, and that's pancakes. So both pancakes, the flour comes from wheat, um, and then the syrup comes from a plant as well. It comes from the maple syrup tree. So both things on there uh, come from plants. So I want you to take a look at that and then I want you and finish it. And then I want you to look at this page. This page talks about the four food groups. Um, dairy, meat and protein, fruits and vegetables, and breads and cereals. And in this page, I want you to draw me three foods that you like to eat that are from these food groups. So let's remind again what everybody what dairy means. That word dairy is something that we don't use all the time. So dairy products uh, are things that are made from milk. Um, so obviously milk, <laughs> cheese, yogurt could come from there. Things like sour cream, um, and actually in that you could, if your family is maybe non-dairy, you could put something like almond milk. Even though it's not dairy, people use it as a dairy product. And then we have meats and protein. So meat would be anything coming from an animal, including eggs, chicken, um, ham, pork, bacon, uh, turkey, that kind of thing. And then it says protein here. So protein might be things that are in this category, but they're not uh, from an animal. So Nuts can be protein, so peanut butter, and um, like tofu as well is a, a protein, but it is not uh, from an animal. So you can put both of those in there, any of those foods you like. So down here we have fruits and vegetables, and I hope that you have lots of things, but definitely make me three nice colored pictures to draw and color of uh, three fruits and vegetables. And then the last one is breads and cereal. So Breads and vegetables, I know you guys know, but breads and cereals, let's talk about that. Well, bread is obvious, but crackers would belong there. Um, muffins could belong in breads and cereals. Uh, things like cereals, grains, that type of stuff. So rice would belong in that category as well in the breads and cereals. So you are going to take out your pencil and draw me three pictures in each of these sections of foods that you 
we'll eat and then color them too. Okay.